Assalamu alaikum. Today's topic is on believer qualities of taqwa and bear as we find them in the Quran. So taqwa is Allah consciousness present in the heart through every step we take and every thought we consider in an effort to form a connection with our creator. So taqwa involves love and fear. So it's a combination of the two along with an Allah consciousness in everything that we do. And Allah has the utmost praise for those who have hearts filled with taqwa. Because Allah says in the Quran, surely the noblest among you in the sight of Allah is the most God-fearing of you. Referring to having taqwa. The linguistic meaning of taqwa is to shield from, protect, guard, fear or to take caution. So a scenario that is described here in summary, it is... Taqwa is if you are walking through a thorny path, the precaution that you would take in order not to be get pricked by the thorns, that is taqwa. Okay, so the definition of taqwa is a combination of love, fear, caution, and Allah consciousness in every step that we take in our lives. The possessors of taqwa are called muttaqun. So Allah says, whoever fulfills his commitment and fears Allah, referring to having taqwa, then indeed Allah loves those who fear him, the muttaqun. So Allah is a protector, friend, and supporter of the muttaqun. As we know, human beings were created to live a life full of difficulty and hard work and struggle. And Allah makes a way out of the difficulty from unexpected sources and avenues for the muttaqun, as we can learn from various verses of the Quran. So the soul that Allah has given us has within it the ability to distinguish right from the wrong. So it has within it evil and its counterpart is the God consciousness or taqwa within it. So we as believers must develop and strengthen the quality of taqwa so that we can refine the soul from its lowly and undesirable characteristics. Taqwa provides the believer with the power of furqan, which is the ability to differentiate between right and wrong. That is very important because sometimes people get the lines of what is right and what is wrong mixed up, which enables them to commit sins. So Allah says, if you have taqwa, he will grant you a criterion to judge between right and wrong. And that is called furqan. The Quran itself is the furqan for distinguishing truth from falsehood. So we also learn from the Quran that it is for all of mankind. The Quran is for all of mankind, but it specifically engages the muttaqun to provide them with extra guidance and admonition. And it serves as a reminder for the muttaqun. Taqwa is linked with Ihsan as we have seen in another video. And now we will view how it connects with the quality of Bir. So Al-Bir includes piety and righteousness in general. So in the context of the Quran, Bir can be acquired through various good qualities and deeds such as kindness, patience, good moral conduct, as well as doing the rituals of worship that Allah has prescribed us. So if you develop Taqwa and you're a Muttaqun, then you will also achieve the quality of Bir. Allah says, help one another to bear and taqwa. Do not help each other to sin and enmity. Similar to taqwa, the quality of bear enables the believer to develop an innate or inner ability to differentiate between the right and the wrong. As we learn from this hadith, righteousness, al-bear, is good behavior, and sin, al-ithm, 
is what fluctuates in your chest and you would hate that the people discovered it about you. So the Prophet ﷺ also said, truthfulness leads to albir and albir leads to paradise. The pious and dutiful person is termed bar in Arabic and its plural is abrar, referring to those who do pious deeds. The abrar will be brought nearest to Allah residing in a state of bliss with their witness record present in the illiyun. I have done another video with a very detailed description about the abrar, about those who are nearest to Allah and I have explained in it what is the illiyun. The Almighty Allah is Al-Bar and he embodies the ultimate quality of Bar. As we see in Tafsir, Al-Bar is the source of all righteousness, the one from whom every good deed comes. So Al-Bar is the one who does not stop his Ihsan because of the sins and disobedience of his slaves. Acquiring the quality of Bar is heavy on us and it can only be developed and internalized by us if we are able to spend out of what we love as Allah tells us in the Quran. You will not attain piety, which is al bear until you expend of what you love and whatever thing you spend, Allah knows of it. There's a definition of what is piety bear in this long verse over here. And what we see is that piety is not only faith and to believe in Allah and in the angels and in the books and prophets and to pray, but it also has a societal obligation on us, which is that we have to spend out of what we love. We have to spend for the poor, for the orphans. We have to give our zakat and we have to be patient during hardships. And again, Allah reminds us that these are the muttaqun. So again, we see how piety bear integrates or combines with the quality of taqwa. Please subscribe for more videos. Jazakallahu khairan for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.